Let me explain. Why is it always like this? Yes, we will get there. I will explain the yurt, but first, coffee. No, uh, well, actually, no, we don't need the anxiety just yet. We've already had one. Well, mm, uh, and yet, no. Okay, so there is a tiny little baby waterfall slash a heart-shaped gorge, creek, rock formation, whatever it is. It's got water in it. It's in the shape of a heart. I have every intention of hunting that down today, but I have also been growing mushrooms. <laughs> Just cooking mushrooms, honestly. Pretty stoked about them, so welcome to about a week ago. Okay, so I don't know where this is going to fit in the context of the rest of the video, but I've been growing mushrooms. Legal mushrooms, just like gourmet sort of cooking mushrooms. I've just started off with these like little kits because they're easy to use and I'm still learning. It starts out looking just like a little like brown block of substrate. This has been growing for about a week, but this one has also been growing for about a week and <laughs> this is the pink oyster mushroom and this will be a lion's mane mushroom. This grows like insanely fast. These mushrooms, because they like double in size every 24 hours, they basically just got huge quite quickly. If anyone's grown these before, these are usually like a darker pink and they did sort of start out a darker pink and then got lighter and lighter. Um, any mushroom people, is that a temperature thing? Is it a humidity thing? Either way, one of today's jobs is picking all of these and turning it into like a mushroom pasta, which I will hopefully remember to show you. <laughs> Bit of a learning process, but I'm stoked. I think I want to start like a little mini farm rather than using the grow kit. A mini farm as in like literally a mini farm, not a whole farm of mushroom. <laughs> There's a spatula over there if you need it. Maybe don't use your bare hands. Beautiful. You literally look like your DJ. <laughs> Yurt. Hello MTV Cribs, welcome to my yurt. Yeah, so this is a choice that I've made recently. So I have made the decision to reside in a yurt in the woods because I think that's honestly, that's just where 2020's taken us. It's where we are right now. Uh, you know what? That lighting's a little bit better. So I one day found myself Googling yurts in the Gold Coast and that brought us to this yurt in the Gold Coast. Weird how the internet works. I have exactly zero regrets about it. This is the most serene place I've ever been to. We found this cool like heart-shaped creek type thing, jumped off it and the jump was a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. So didn't break my legs. It was only like a kilometer or two to get there, but the hill was literally like in like this steep. We were falling down the gravel getting down and getting up was my little stick legs are not okay. It was absolutely pissing down rain when we left. So we were walking up this hill. We had the drone and cameras and no like proper bags to cover any of it. The drone is on the deck drying out right now. So if that never works again, I won't be shocked at all because we were absolutely drenched. So yeah, walking up that incline was maybe my least favorite part of the day, but still really sick. I think I poured like a liter of water out of my boots when we got back to the car. Immediately just got naked and got in the car because everything was just sopping wet. This camera still works luckily the drone we'll see i don't have much faith in old mavi this lighting is wildly inconsistent so you're just gonna have to cop that for a bit but anyway i just wanted to stay in the yurt now we're in the yurt the yurt is sick i'm gonna be abusing the word yurt for the rest of the video so let's show you around the yurt so here is the main entrance i'm gonna have to give you a height comparison for that door let's just uh it's a bit of a you know what I mean? It's a little kitchenette area. There's also like a barbecue outside. Best thing in the world, it has aircon. Sleeping quarters, AKA just bed. This is the comfiest couch in the world that I've messed up a little bit. And a little picnic blanket and some activities, some books and stuff. Got the cutest little table and pillows. Best part about it is I don't have to move this spot to give you like a tour of the entire place. Also, there's really amazing artwork up on the roof and stuff and all on the doors. Very vibey, would absolutely live in a yurt. This is much bigger than my actual bedroom. <laughs> if anyone has some land and a couple of people that know how to build a yurt, 
shirt, let me know. Um, nearly forgot the bathroom. Very sick little bathroom. Oh shit, yeah, that happens every single time. I hit my head literally every single time I come in here. Also, this room is so bright. She's pretty bright and glary today. Look at this little guy, so cute. Anyway, you can also sit over there if you would like to start fires. You would like to... <laughs> Just walked into a spider's web and that's all good. Over here we have some bush. Over there we have some bush. I think it's time to go back into the safety of the yurt. I have seen at least, at least eight to 12 spiders that are the size of my hand. Anyway, I feel like this is as good a time as any to talk about the sponsor of this video, Native Deodorants. Native is responsible for keeping me smelling good after a day of cliff jumping and spider climbing and yurt living. Native is a natural deodorant. It's vegan and cruelty free. It's also aluminium, paraben and sulfate free, which is pretty good to keep an eye out for, in my opinion, with something that you're putting on and absorbing into your body every single day. And with Christmas coming up, Native does have some holiday sets available on their website. They've got candy cane, vanilla and chai and sugar cookie. Out of the classic scents, I think my favorite is always going to be the cucumber and mint, which I've brought with me. I honestly, I really wish I could make you smell this through the camera. It's always my favorite, but there's plenty to choose from. A pack of three deodorants is usually $36, but if you use my link in the description and the code on the screen, you'll get them for $24. So that's 33% off and there's free shipping to the US. This is a great little gift idea, especially if the person you're buying for is like a conscious shopper. <laughs> Maybe if they live in a yurt, I don't know, they'd probably like it. <laughs> so I'm going to chill in the yurt for a bit. I think Carly's gone down to the dam, so I'm going to wait for her to get back. We've bought, honestly, way too much food so I'm gonna have a snack and then I think oh my god state of origin is tonight it was actually pretty sketchy today when we jumped into that heart pool a I'd never been there before you kind of had to swim through this gorge to get to this like rock wall which was completely vertical and sort of just hoist your way up and as we were swimming at like eye level in the water there was this dead huntsman spider like massive just floating by and I'm like that's great it's dead so that's fine I don't have qualms with spiders but I just don't want them near my eyes Pre like, pretty much ever <laughs> yeah for basically any reason don't want spiders anywhere near my face Having one float past me, not ideal. And then when we were climbing up this vertical like cliff thing, which was difficult enough already, and there was like very little to sort of grab onto and pull your whole body weight up above your head. As I was like climbing up again at eye level, there's just groups of little huntsman spiders or those little water spiders, but they're huge. Probably wouldn't have bitten us, but about this big, like the size of our hands and just not, not where I want to see them, you know? Not when I have to get up in this one spot and they are all, they're all just there. <laughs> Another interesting little tidbit is that the owners of this yurt met in Kazakhstan when they were filming a documentary about someone's army assuming the US, I don't really know, doing like nuclear bomb tests on little towns in Kazakhstan and not moving the civilians out, so basically testing on people and all of the corruption surrounding that. And they lived in little yurts in Kazakhstan, so they came back and built their own little yurt and very kindly rented out to people like me who just want to come and live in a yurt for a bit. So let's play the game, does the drone still work? And unfortunately, there's only one way to find out. This noise is new. This, this thing is definitely not doing well. Fuck. <laughs> Do you remember when I said the drone seems fine? I don't, I don't think the drone controller is fine. Oh honey, it's all right. Holy shit, this is... Like, like it's off. There's no battery to pull out. On a completely unrelated note, does anyone know where to get a new one of these? Thank you. I'm just gonna wait till the battery dies and just leave the whole house. So it is pretty late. I'm in the studio editing. My tripod is a jar of Vegemite and a Stanley knife. Every single technical thing that could go wrong in this video has gone wrong. The hard drive carved it. My iMac shit itself. I had to run home and get my laptop, which is also shitting itself because it's not really, it's not really fast enough to be editing on, especially with like drone footage. So if you ever see this video, it'll be a goddamn miracle. You girls are a little bit sleepy, but I did forget to do the shout outs at the end of the video So if you're new here I give shout outs at the end of every video to people who subscribe and put the bell on and also to people who follow me on Instagram and TikTok YouTube shout out goes to Dale Smith Instagram shout out goes to Skyminer2237 and TikTok shout out I just uploaded over there goes to sus neighbor underscore I feel like my Vegemite tower is about to fall so I'm gonna fuck, hopefully finish this video as always I will see you in a few days with a new video and There we go.